Hi guys, I wanted to do a flip through of my art journal. I have never done one of these before. Um, I have, I think, one other art journal that is nearly full and it is so ugly that it's it was mostly kind of me putting really leftovers of like really, really ugly colors and I don't know, just making huge, huge messes. So. I'm trying to actually go back and finish uh, pages over those hideous backgrounds and I'm not being hard on myself. They are truly, truly hideous. Um, but this one was kind of just a joy to work and play with and um, I can't remember when I got this. It was um, like soon after the Jane Davenport stuff came out, so that must be the beginning of this year. I think in January all the stuff came out. And yeah, so this went really fast. Now these, this is the Jane Davenport journal, the large one. I love it. I rave about it in a million videos. Uh, it comes, um, the cover is white canvas and I just added some color as you can see. And I think I will leave it like this. I, I like the way it looks. You can also buy these covers for the journal, so that's nice to protect it. And this is not completely finished. Um, I don't think I'll be shocked if I ever have an art journal that is completely, completely finished. Um, so maybe I'll go back and, you know, finish those few pages that are not. But anyway, I wanted to show you. So at the beginning I was very scared to use it. I've also never had like a proper uh, art journal with watercolor paper. I have one of the large moleskin ones, but I never really... I used it kind of for swatching and stuff, so this was very new. Um, this was actually uh, one of the last um, layouts that I started and obviously you can see it's very very rough. It's one of the exercises in the um, uh, misquoted uh, Jane Davenport class. She had a, a, a significant discount on it because her classes are very, they're amazing but uh, they are expensive. So I saw the big discount and I jumped on the chance to take this class. So this is kind of one of the exercises and yeah because the reason i left this blank for so long is because i was intimidated <laughs> by the journal <laughs> so i'll probably go back and do something more with this but uh, i really like how these two ladies turned out so this was me testing out the mermaid markers uh, so all the colors and just playing around with them you can see they are very like reactive to water this was an experiment. This I made for my watercolor workbook class. You can see exactly how I made this. I was having a lot of fun here. These are the Brights palette, the Jane Davenport. Um, just I was swatching them. So this is it with a few for like extra colors that I added, the ones in the middle. They don't come in the set. Um, so I was just swatching these and then I also swatched the neutrals palette, this one, which has more neutral colors, um, not surprisingly. And I was also like mixing my own shades. And yeah, I had fun here. This is another uh, lesson in my watercolor workbook class, as is this one. Uh, it's about color mixing. I talk a lot about color theory and color mixing. This was just smooshing uh, playtime. I will probably maybe one day go back to this, but it's just beautiful. This is the beauty of watercolors. Uh, this was a face that I made that I kind of hate. And yeah, I, I kind of want to <laughs> paint white all over it. <laughs> Um, this was, I think I was trying to compare the Prima watercolors with the Jane Davenport ones and I don't know if, if you can, yeah, I think you can see that a lot of the colors are almost identical. I mean, look at these, 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 these purples, 
so and I just have fun had fun <laughs> um, this was a couple of I got some tubes to try out uh, of the um, Shinhan hybrid pass uh, paint it's a they call it a gouache and watercolor hybrid um, I think I made uh, a video about setting up a whole palette full of these mostly these and yeah I think they are good value uh, interesting paint this was just playtime I was just uh, playing with um, it was kind of a landscape abstract type of thing with these autumn colors that I was playing with here I was having fun with some blue paint this was some <laughs> tree fun <laughs> circle fun <laughs> and this was uh, I also made this for the class um, these are the Kuretake Gansai Tambi uh, I have the 36 set but I used here the colors that are in the 24 set and made a color wheel to see how they um, which colors you get I sorry I closed like a few pages here because they are a work in progress for a class um, this these are some citrus slices that I didn't finish and another face that I hate <laughs> this was some playtime this was a lot of fun this is a um, project that I teach uh, how to make this in my next uh, class that will come out very soon or is already out depending on when I post this video and when you see it. <laughs> uh, this was playtime with some gouache paints that I got and some of the hybrid uh, Shinhan paints. You can see some of them are like uh, almost fluorescent and they're just really fun uh, this was also uh, these are I'm pretty sure these are the hybrid paints and gouache and with the hybrid paints and also with some of the gouache when you add um, water to them like more water and use them uh, less concentrated it really looks almost like watercolor and feels like watercolor um, I'm not sure if there's a process video for this, but for this I know there is. Uh, this was also mostly used, uh, I used uh, gouache and hybrid paint. This is a very minimal, you can see how it goes from, you know, 100 to <laughs> 0 <laughs> miles per hour. And here I don't remember which paints I used, but I just had fun was a calmer page and you can see that this is really nice paper but you can see that it also uh, warps and buckles uh, it's just I think you can't really get away from it in a journal um, this is uh, I also have a process video for this also playtime also for this this I made with in inktense uh, blocks this is a project that I made for shimmers and it was a lot of fun. There's a process video for this. This one was inspired by Jody All, um, and I had a lot of fun making it. You see, it's almost uh, monochromatic. It's just gray and some purple. And yeah, it was great fun. And then I kind of took it to a place that is more me. So you see, it's a similar style, but more color. <laughs> and this one, I also have a process video. Um, yeah, I also had fun with this. This is watching the Dr. P.H. Martin's Radiant Concentrated Watercolors Set A. And then I was kind of just making a color wheel with just three colors. Um, because it's really not needed to have so many. I just like it. This is probably one of my favorite pages in this journal. I have a process video for it. I just love how it turned out. This is... I, sh I sh have all kinds of videos that I just don't get um, to editing and uploading. I'm swatching here the Gansai Tambi Starry Colors set. It looks like... this. And these are the colors in it. I wanted to try some shimmery uh, watercolors, like golden watercolors. And I like some of the colors here, but I have to say now that I'm looking at it, I'm kind of more liking the Prima Shimmering Lights uh, set. 
and you can see it's a very 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 specific palette it's not the type of set that you should get if you only want like one go-to set um, and these are all shimmery so uh, wait let me see if I can catch it so you can see these are you can see how they catch the light they are a lot more shimmery than these ones although these are also nice and shimmery um, I do like the colors some of the colors here are I really love this one it's called flare and also these ones that are more gray um, it's just it's just fun playing with this palette I must say and this is nice for adding accents like I did here I think here I used uh, one of the colors I like the champagne gold in the uh, Gansai Tambi set so this was kind of just an experiment of a very abstract uh, bold um, landscape type of thing I guess you know you can see I don't know sky something and then I added some golden accents on it which I love I love how they catch the light and you can see how bold these colors are these are I'm pretty sure the PH Martin radiant yeah it has to be they are the only ones that are this bold um, these were my pansies <laughs> page I have a process video for this uh, these are some extra PH Martin paints um, that I got, some extra colors from uh, all the other sets. I have the set A and then um, a few other colors from the other sets. And I just had fun making it. There's a process video for this too. This I will also have a process video. This was actually, um, I thought about, I'm participating in a class for National Scrapbooking Day on big picture classes I have uh, four classes at big picture classes and I made this extra project for uh, National Scrapbooking Day and it's not this one but this one I made before I made the one that I actually submitted and this was really really a lot of fun so you can see it kind of echoes um, some of the elements in these two uh, spreads that were inspired by Jody Jody all and I kind of now went more you know crazy bright colors <laughs> and this was a lot of fun to make so I should have at some point a video for this too this was just loose flower floral playtime um, I feel like I want to go back here and add just you know some scribbly black and white lines I think that would give it a more finished look um, these were some faces that I drew um, as part of the taking the misquoted class from Jane Davenport and yeah I think they look interesting and then the last page the absolute last page is us watching the Vicky uh, Boutin 24 set which I hope to get a review at some point so that's them. Um, the tin is gorgeous. <laughs> I mean, look at that. <laughs> That's gorgeous. And the paints um, for 24, there are 24 paints here. And the set is relatively uh, cheap, I would say. Um, the paints themselves, as you can see, uh, the colors are, I would say, quite bright, but they are more opaque. So I actually had really, I had fun with them. I painted with them uh, another uh, art journal spread that will also be at some point on my channel. And um, yeah, I kind of enjoyed using them. Um, I think because they have a lot of filler in them, they are more opaque and also they have this, you get this kind of um, granule, I don't know what it is, the, the color, I don't know why it does that um, but it's it's an interesting effect I don't think it's uh, on purpose but I love this color I love this color in this set I have to say so I think it's a fun set it's definitely not what I would choose if um, if I'm if I want to work with transparent watercolors but um, I do think the colors are fun and they uh, wet really nicely even though they look really dry when they are dry 
um, they wet really nicely and they're kind of more like really nice sets of gouache that you get like for kids but yeah <laughs> That's that's kind of what it is. They are fun, they are bright, they are affordable. The tin is gorgeous, um, but they are more opaque. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, leave me a comment if you have any questions. Let me know if you want to see more such videos, um, even though I don't have a finished art journal <laughs> at the moment. <laughs> It doesn't, it takes some time to uh, get through a whole art journal, but I can't believe I made it and I'm actually, you know, enjoying uh, looking in it, unlike my super ugly one. <laughs> so yeah, I wish you a lovely day. Thanks for watching. Bye.